Hello, and welcome to our channel. Today we're going to talk about one of the most popular fish in the aquarium hobby, the blue tang. This stunning fish is loved by many for its bright blue color and playful personality. In this video, we'll cover everything you need to know about the blue tang, including fascinating facts, its advantages and disadvantages, and more. So, let's get started. The blue tang, also known as the regal tang or palette surgeon fish, is a saltwater fish that is native to the Indo-Pacific region. Here are some interesting facts about this fish. The blue tang can grow up to 12 inches in length, and has a lifespan of up to 30 years. It is a herbivore and feeds on algae and other plant material. The blue tang is known for its bright blue coloration, which fades to yellow near the tail. It has a sharp spine near its tail that it can use for self-defense. The blue tang is a shoaling fish and prefers to be kept in groups of three or more. If you're considering adding a blue tang to your aquarium, here are some advantages to keep in mind. They are very active and playful, which makes them a joy to watch. Their bright blue coloration adds a pop of color to your aquarium. They are relatively hardy and can adapt to a range of aquarium conditions. Blue tangs are generally peaceful and can coexist with other non-aggressive fish. While there are many advantages to keeping a blue tang, there are also some potential downsides to consider. They can be prone to certain diseases, such as ick, if their water quality is not properly maintained. Blue tangs require a larger aquarium of at least 75 gallons to accommodate their size and activity level. They can be aggressive towards other blue tangs, so it's important to only keep one in a tank unless you have a very large aquarium. They are not suitable for beginners, as they require a higher level of care and attention than some other aquarium fish. If you do decide to add a blue tang to your aquarium, here are some care requirements to keep in mind. Provide plenty of hiding places and open swimming space in your aquarium. Maintain excellent water quality by performing regular water changes and testing your water parameters. Feed your blue tang a varied diet of high-quality pellets, flakes, and frozen or live foods. Consider adding a quarantine tank to your setup to prevent the spread of diseases to your other fish. As previously mentioned, blue tangs can be prone to certain health issues. Here are some common ones to look out for. Ick. A parasitic disease that causes white spots on the fish's body. Head and lateral line erosion, HLLE, a condition where the fish's head and lateral line become eroded, possibly due to poor water quality or an inadequate diet. Swim bladder issues. These can occur due to overfeeding or improper diet. That wraps up today's video. I'll see you at the next one. Goodbye.